Hey everyone and welcome to another episode of Ends and Tech. On today's video, I want to show you how you can embed Microsoft Loop pages into SharePoint pages to take collaboration to the next level. So if you are not familiar with Microsoft Loop, it's kind of a one note with steroids where you can collaborate with others at the same time and see what each user is doing in Microsoft Loop in real time. So this is a loop page and uh, in here you can see that you can add a lot of uh, different components, text, um, tables, images, and uh, if you type slash then you can see the list of components that are available for you to use in uh, loops and in loop pages. So the goal here is to embed and to add this specific page to a SharePoint page. So whenever someone visits a page that exists in SharePoint related to this project, they can actually see the loop component and add the relevant information and consume relevant information directly from the component in SharePoint. So the page is already here. Um, it has a few documents and it has quick links. It's inside of the intranet. So it's in its natural place for uh, communication and to, for uh, sharing content. Now, how do I bring the loop component here if there's no official web part for Microsoft Loop inside of SharePoint. Well, there's a workaround that I'm about to show you, but before I do that, let's first look into the article that I wrote the other day explaining the entire process. So if you don't want to watch the full video to see step-by-step -step what I will do, I have this article in my blog linked uh, below where you have all the instructions step-by-step uh, that will explain you how to achieve what I'm about to demonstrate. So let's go back to Microsoft Loop. And the first thing that we will need is the link for the loop component. But instead of copying it directly from the URL, the, the URL bar here at the top, we will click in the share button and we will get the loop component embed uh, link. This will add uh, the link to this page to the clipboard. And I can even configure who will have access to this um, based on the permission set in this sharing uh, settings. For now, I will leave it as it is. Only people in the organization will be able to access and collaborate. So um, I will hit the apply button and the link it's already in the clipboard now to add it to the intranet since there's no official microsoft loop web part what we will need to do is um, use the embed web part that microsoft has by default in all modern sharepoint sites so i will choose the embed and here comes the tricky part instead of pasting the url directly if i just paste the URL as I got it from loop, uh, you will see that this embed code, it's not supported and it will not work. So the trick here is to use the iframe tag uh, instead. And um, as you can see, there's uh, an example here with the iframe with a predefined width and a predefined height. What we will do instead is an iframe tag with a dynamic width so it adjusts to the section and to the size of the screen where it is displayed and a fixed height so i don't want the user to um, have to scroll uh, in the page to see the entire loop component so i will make sure that for most screens the component will be visible without the user to um, scroll uh, the page and to do that, uh, we'll go back here to my um, article. And what I will do is copy this template for the iframe. It will have uh, 700 pixels of height and width of 100%. 100% means that it will be uh, responsive and it will adjust to the width of the screen. So paste the iframe 
And now here in the form URL, again, it says it's not valid because it's not, there's not an URL in the source property, but it's uh, about to be uh, there. So now I just pasted it and you can immediately see the loading pop-up of Microsoft Loop. Since I'm in the browser and I'm authenticated already in Microsoft Loop, I immediately get access to uh, Loop. If that was not the case, um, I would have to authenticate and that happens with the, uh, with the pop-up and the user have then to authenticate to make sure um, it belongs to the same organization based on the permissions that I um, initially did. But well, this is um, how um, you do it. It immediately displays in here. Uh, mine already is displaying the loop component in white because I have it defined to use the light theme. If you have uh, your Microsoft loop uh, configured to use the dark theme, then uh, the dark theme will be displayed also in here. That's something that you cannot control when you embed a component. But um, you continue to be able to navigate and access to other um, pages and ideas, and you still have access to Microsoft Loop directly from here. So now I will republish the page. Every time it loads, you will see a preview of Microsoft Loop as it shows in here. And after a few seconds, the Loop page simply appears um, in the SharePoint. So with the page now maximized, you can see that I still have access to all the information that I have in my SharePoint site. I have my documents, I have my quick links, but now I have something that it's interactive and the users can access and edit in real time and collaborate in real time. Just to show you how um, this looks like when someone else is uh, working on the document, I will uh, bring up here another user. As you can see now, there are two of us, um, myself and Michael Jordan is also in the house. And you can see live where the um, user has the cursor and where the user is adding content. I'm here and I'm adding content. This was just added by the other user. That's why it was showing um, the cursor with the uh, name. So, well, I don't want Michael Jordan to ruin this beautiful document, so I've deleted it. But this is how you can uh, easily integrate Microsoft Loop into SharePoint pages, even though it's not officially supported. Um, it's a good way to connect the two different applications in, um, in a SharePoint page. And this way you will be um, spreading the loop component to a broader audience and uh, you will uh, reach uh, a higher audience as well, as probably your users are mo more familiar with your internet than they are with Microsoft Loop since it is a brand new application. If you want to see more tips and tricks like this one for SharePoint, Microsoft Lists or uh, Microsoft Teams, make sure you hit the subscribe button. See you next time. Bye-bye.